Unfortunately, we're moving from summer onto the next season. Now you might think it's fall and pumpkin time. Not in this house. It's football time! And that means football food. Fun football food. All different kinds of football food that you do on Sundays that's comfort and delicious and a little fatty and a little gluttonous. But how about we make pulled chipotle adobo tostados. The big corn tortillas. We're gonna fry them up. We're gonna slow braise this pork butt with chipotle and adobo and some great spices. Shred it and then make these extra large nachos with all the toppings. Cilantro aioli, a little pico de gallo, homemade guacamole, and you know we're gonna load the cheese up on it. And it's gonna be delicious. First thing and most important thing with the pork is it's gotta go low and slow for around eight hours. So this is something that you wanna make for Sunday football because people are coming over. Do it the day before and you assemble it on the day of. So I'm gonna use an aluminum tray just because it's a lot easier for the cleanup. Just take it, throw it in the garbage. Take it, throw it in the garbage. Most important thing where all the flavor is and it's gonna be in our pork. So we want it to go low and slow. Now you can get a pork shoulder, pork butt, boneless. I like it with the bone in. I like it with a nice fat cap on it like this. It's around a quarter of an inch thick because that's what melts down and that's what cooks the pork in its own fat. Confit is like the term that the French use, but that's where it gets super tender and delicious. All that fat melts away and the pork just becomes like butter. So two things, we're gonna make a little rub to go on top, but like I said, I'm using an aluminum pan. I put a handful of garlic cloves. I do one white onion chopped up. I do a little bit of fresh parsley and a bay leaf on my base. Now we're gonna make the marinade to rub all over this and put it in. I put skin down, skin side down, just so you know. Um, but you're gonna need a bullet or a blender to make the marinade. There's like a hundred different million marinades that you could put together. This is what I like. It's kind of has a little kick to it, has a little smokiness, um, but I put in around five cloves of garlic with around a handful of fresh parsley. <laughs> then in my seasoning mix, it's adobo, smoked paprika, iloto seasoning, salt and pepper, and then I use one can of the chipotle sauce, not the chipotle peppers, because that's too spicy for me and the chipotle sauce isn't. So I use one can of that, the rest of the garlic, and around a quarter cup of olive oil um, just to blend. And then at the end, we'll season with some salt and pepper after, but let's get this sucker in the blender. Okay, so it's out of the blender. I use a bullet because I don't have anything else. Um, like I said, it's gonna be like a thick paste. You're just gonna pour this right over the whole entire. Now I've learned my lesson, I use a glove because when I do this without a glove, my hand smells like garlic for the rest of the day. So rub it real good all over, a nice thick coating. Like I said, I put the skin down. Now this marinade will fall into the pan and then a lot of people do it different ways, but I, oh my God, it smells so good with the, the chipotle. I like to add a beer. Not only like because I get thirsty when I'm working, but I put around a half a can of beer on the bottom of my pan. This helps make a steam method and it kind of starts to cook a little bit faster in here. So half of a beer, rolling foil on this in the oven at 350. We'll see it in like six hours. Right, like I said, we're gonna get foil on it. You wanna create a dome foil. So you wanna put it on and kind of give it a little pitch on the top so that it's a loose foil around. The air is gonna go in and circulate on in the inside the pan. And I recommend a middle shelf. Don't put it on the bottom because the bottom will start to crisp up and we don't want that, especially with that fat on the bottom. We want this to cook slow and tenderize itself. So we'll do all the other prep, but I'm gonna wait because we got like six, seven hours to go. Hello. Let's get the toppings for our pork tostada ready. So we're gonna make some guacamole, which you guys have seen me do before with fresh lime juice and cilantro. We're gonna make a little cilantro uh, crema with some sour cream. I got a shitload of shredded cheese ready to go on top. And I wanna show you how cute are these. This is what we're gonna use for the tostada. It is um, little corn street tacos. First of all, if I was to make these for dinner, bartender Bill would eat like maybe 30 of these. These are 
you see, it's the size of my cheek. But fried with the pork on them, and then the sauces, and then the messy top. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like. So we got uh, avocados, we're gonna make a little pico, fresh lime juice. I'm not gonna put any jalapeno in today just because I don't have it. And we're gonna fry these up. Okay, and for the guacamole, these are avocados. Do we think it's gonna be good? Do we think it's gonna be good? Do we think it's good? Oh! It's a good one. Let's try it again. I love this game. Do we think it's gonna be good? I bought them like a couple days ago. I've had them on the counter. Do we think we're gonna be good? Ooh, two for two. It looks like we're gonna make some guacamole. Hold on. You guys know how much I love Mexican food. Please be three for three. Three for three. Three for three. Woo! We got it made. We're gonna make some guacamole now. All right, I got cilantro in the bowl. I'm gonna do a little bit of red onion, uh, fresh lime juice, a tomato. I'm gonna make some guacamole for our tostado. Cilantro crema, easiest way to do it. Sour cream, you can also use Greek non-fat um, yogurt if you want. Cilantro, two limes, salt, pepper, um, and then I use a pinch of cumin. And if I find my top, which is somewhere, we blend it up and then just keep it in the fridge. Lasts up to two weeks, no problem. Goes great on anything. Especially like huevos rancheros, you make eggs in the morning, put a little salsa, drizzle this on top. Guys, these avocados are on point. So I bought them at Costco the other day and I got the bag. So I've been letting them sit on the counter. Perfect. So in here, cilantro, a little red onion, our avocados, tomato, lime juice, we're gonna add salt and pepper, and then we have beautiful guacamole right there, ready to go. Don't forget, you can use a decent amount of salt when it comes to, um, you know what I love doing sometimes, and I forgot, maybe I should do it next time. The chili lime salt, I have that to use and put it in my avocado. Um, I always put a little bit of cumin in here as well. A really nice, delicious avocado. Guacamole coming together here. It's gonna be amazing on those tostadas. I just want to show you my pico real quick. Tomatoes, cilantro, red onion, fresh lime juice, a pinch of cumin, salt, and pepper. I love that marinade. And you know what? Half the stuff, the guacamole and the um, pico, better the next day when it sits and it marinates. And you've seen my tricks on how you can save your guacamole by putting the plastic wrap with the water and putting it in the fridge like that, and it will not turn brown. You can also put the pits in there. Um, but the pico, I always find better tomorrow because it like marries all the flavors. Let's fry up these cute, cute tortillas right now so that we can assemble because our pork is cooling. So I'm taking the little tortillas. I just used a cast iron with around a quarter of an inch of oil and we're laying these away from me. I'm doing two per batch. They're gonna fry up and crisp up half part, um, paper towel ready to go so that you can transfer it right on and have tongs so that you can flip them as needed. Okay, flip them as needed. I did around a minute on each side so far. They're starting to bubble and crisp up. This is gonna be so delicious with the melted cheese all over it. Oh. So you know they're nice and crispy when they start to lift up on the sides and you take them out. You just wanna let them dry on the paper towel because they're gonna be nice and crispy now like this. Um, so just keep repeating the process for as many tostadas as you wanna make because this is the vessel that we're gonna put the refried beans, the pork, the cheese, and then top it with all the good toppings that we just made. Just a couple more. And that pork comes out of the oven and it is falling apart. Beautifulness. Let's make our tostados.